Now, let me think goes live. Hey, everybody. This is Amy Howard. I'm coming to you from Memphis, Tennessee, the Habitat Restore. I want to show you the sign up here. So, I want you to know I have not had an opportunity to scope anything. I am just getting here. So, I'm going to take you through some of the departments. We're going to look at furniture. I want you to ask questions. Um, and even make comments on different pieces of furniture that we're going to look at. be looking at. I'm going to tell you how much it costs, show you how to be able to make offers and bids on things at Habitat. So, all right, come on in, come with me. The music may, may be a little bit of a problem, so I'm going to probably get a little closer to the phone than I normally would where you can hear me. So, the thing is about Habitat, it, sorry, Chandler. It changes all the time. So the inventory is not going to be the same one week as it is to the next week. So I've just walked in and I'm seeing all these appliances over here. So come on. Let's go to the furniture part first. So, you know, here's the fun thing. Yes, we've got a lot of upholstered furniture. But remember, with the one-step paint, you can paint upholstery. But we're going to go over that in just a minute. But let's go on over. Okay. Wow. It's, you know what the funny thing is? You never know what you're going to find. Look at this. Oh, no. And they're sold. <laughs> These are two pedicure chairs, and they're already sold. So you never know what you're going to run across. So, all right. So let me just kind of scope for just a second. And I want to be able to look at... Oh, look at this. Come here. Now, these are raw chair frames. These are raw chair frames. I'm going to have to speak a little bit louder so you guys can hear me. These are raw chair frames. These would be perfect to paint in Toscana milk paint because you're... You're starting with a raw surface. That would be so awesome. How much are they? Let's look at the price really quick. So they're $25 a piece. Now, we're going to show you another um, label that a lot of times it'll have a date on it. And they'll be like, it'll go for four to five weeks. And it allows you to be able to make an offer on it. Or you can write down the longer it's here, the lower the price is going to be. But I'm just going to be honest with you, if you like it, the best time to buy an antique or a piece of furniture at Habitat Restore is going to be the time that you see it. So the thing is, if it's something that you like, you take this top tag off and leave the yellow tag on. You'll take this with you to the cash register and actually pay for it. The other thing is, you need to make sure you come with the truck or you have a way to be able to haul it from here because they will not deliver and you're gonna have to pick it up the same day that you buy it. They're not gonna hold it for you. So let's come on over here. The, um, you know, a lot of people will ask me as far as laminates. A lot of materials and pieces that you're gonna find here are not gonna be real wood, but it's going to allow you to be able to come back on top of it with the one-step paint. It's perfect. Now remember, I don't want you to look at all pieces as something that you're just going to use a chalk-based paint on. That's why I love the fact that we have lacquers. We've got better with age. You may want to strip the top to a piece of furniture and start all over. So I'm all the time looking for pieces that are solid oak. It's a great opportunity to strip them and use the better with age. Now, see on this particular piece right here, this is a veneer. This is not real wood. This is a formica material. It's a type of a laminate, but you can paint it very easily. If I was going to be working on a table like this, I would get my airless sprayer. I would not paint the top with a brush. Um, I would spray the top and I would paint the bottom um, by hand with a brush. Always look to at painting the top one color and painting the base another. All right, so. Now remember too, a lot of times, you've got to curate the purchases that you're going to be getting. You want to curate the pieces that are great. And I'll be honest with you, I'm looking around in here because I want to go shopping. I want to kind of see everything, but at the same time, I want to talk to you and educate you on what you should be looking for. Um, this is actually a pretty cool dining table, but they want a 
$10. That's way too much money for me. I can wait and see maybe if it comes down in price. But to be honest with you, round tables are hard to find. So I'm actually looking for one for my dining room. But this is way too expensive for me right now. Um, you know, let's see. Now, these are a great area. Oh, okay, come here, come here. Let me show you. Now, a lot of the projects that we're going to be doing for the winter are working with these picture frames. These are great to be able to buy. Don't look at the artwork inside them. They're not that great. I'm looking at my camera person's eyes and she's rolling her eye. But don't look. Oh my gosh, I actually had this picture when I was first married years ago. This is crazy. Oh my gosh, that's so crazy. Okay, but these picture frames that you're going to see that are maybe gold leaf or they have different finishes on them, you're, you're able to take this glass frame out, take the picture frame out, and we're going to be putting chicken wire in these that we've painted, putting Christmas cards in them. They're so cute. So look at the opportunity to be able to rescue and restore these frames. Please know that this is coming to you live from Memphis, so you have any questions, please ask me, especially. I want to be able to answer them now instead of later. So let's just look around here. Tons more picture frames. You know, I talk about so many of the times. You know, a lot of the pieces that we will lacquer, we'll use the White Perfection lacquer on. I'll come over here and I'll find them and we'll lacquer dishes, vases, um, no heckling. I mean, a lot. My, I want you to know that my team is here with me and they're cracking up over some of the stuff that you'll see. That's why I usually come alone so that way I can walk around here and try to find things that are great. So follow me just a little bit more and let's keep looking. You know, look at the seat of this. Now, you're gonna find a lot of these vinyl type chairs. Don't really invest your time to be able to paint chairs like this, especially if it's got the cracking on it. While you can use the one-step paint on vinyl, um, it's best to spray it, but I want you to pass over this. That way, that's more about curating what it is that we're doing. Question. Okay. Cindy wants to know, can you use one-step paint on a ceramic type pot? Okay, Cindy, um, what type of ceramic pot? What are you going to be using it on? It can stick to ceramic. To put succulents in. To put succulents in. Yes, you can use uh, one-step paint on, um, on ceramic. No problem at all. So that way it's going to be used as a planner. If you're going to use it outside, I would either put a sealer on it or I would use um, maybe the clear wax or the Mondrome beeswax. So, great question, though. Um, all right, so a lot of these things that you're going to see are laminates. They're not real wood. And usually I don't buy a table and chairs that match. If they come together, I would usually give the chairs to somebody else, but I like chairs and tables that don't match. Actually, in my dining room, and I will tell you this, next Thursday, we're going to um, be bringing you to my house, and I'm going to show you how I'm decorating my entry hall and my urns for... Um, for fall as well as my dining table so a lot of you know if you follow me on Facebook and Instagram that I just bought a new house and I want to show you the process that I go through um, as far as decorating but you'll see in my dining room how all the chairs don't match and they're so cute I'm anxious to get your feedback on it so, so let's look, look, here. look here's some great mirrors this is awesome I've not seen these before because here's the other thing. You don't know when they're going to get them in. What a great frame to be able to paint. Um, I might even do the one-step paint on this and then come back and do the Toscana milk paint on top of it. I might even do some embossing cream to create a, a beautiful Greek key around here. This would be another easy one to do. Let's see how much they are. So these look to run about 20, 15. $14.97, that's a great price. You know, it would be hard to get this look any cheaper than that. And a lot of times when I go to garage sales 
or estate sales, the mirrors will cost probably upwards of $75 to $100. So this is a great buy. Um, all right, let's keep looking. Oh my gosh. Hey, how are you doing? I'm looking at some faucets to be able to put in the new house. Okay, y'all know who this is. But Gene broke his arm. We're not going to let him. Are you wanting to tell how you broke your arm? I'm cage fighting on the weekends to make enough money to pay for the new house. What are you listening to? Huh? I'm taking pictures of the faucet. Oh, all right. Did you find anything good? I don't like this one. That's pretty, pretty up that scale, up B. Actually, I've never seen them with faucets before. Have you? No, I think it's a new section for them, or at least bringing it out in the open. That's awesome. It's That's good. awesome. Oh my gosh, look at all the seating over here. Was this like from a school, or? I, I think it was probably one of the schools that had closed. That's interesting. There again, they're vinyl. So many times you're going to see chairs that are vinyl, and a lot of people think that they can't do anything to them. You can paint them. I think I would pass on these, though, from a dis... I'm sorry. <laughs> we have somebody... <laughs> we have somebody here with us that is... They crack me up, and they're from our office, so I can't look at him because it, he's supposed to be here helping ask questions, so I'm sorry. I can't look at him anymore, guys, so I apologize for losing. All right, so come on over here. Okay. Can you kind of span? Oh, come here, Chandler. Look at this. Okay, so. Is that right? $15? Oh my gosh, it was $75? Okay, let's... I want you to look at some of the Instagram pictures that we had of people that have painted pianos. They are adorable. Um, sincerely, can you hear me? Sincerely, Sarah D. You need to go back on Instagram or look her up. She painted a spinet piano in the one-step paint. And then down at the legs, at the bottom, she gilded them to where she came up and they looked like they were dipped. This would be adorable. If you've got a child that's learning to play the piano, to be able to go to Restore and buy it for $15 and then paint it, I know it doesn't look like much. Now, you know, I talk about this a lot. You're going to see the finish and the grime that's on this. A lot of times, they're just nasty. Please make sure that you get my clean slate and clean the furniture before you actually paint it. And I can't look over here. Look. <laughs> I, I, I got a question. <laughs> Harold, ready? I don't know what's up. Yeah, then you have to turn around. That's how my hand got broken. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, Harold wants to know, how do you clean the veneer? <laughs> I'm so sorry. We're not doing a very good job today, are we, guys? Okay, cleaning the veneer is going to be the same way as cleaning the wood pieces. You're going to need to use the clean slate. I cannot look at my entire team right now. You want to be able to make sure that you use the clean slate just with a regular uh, lint-free rag and go over it. It will get a lot of the grease and the grime, but as well as the waxes that will be on it. A lot of times people have used uh, degreasers like, um, well, there's a lot of degreasers out there, but Simple Green is a really good one. But the Simple Green will not get the waxes off or things like liquid gold that may have been used on it in the 70s and 80s. So just make sure you clean, clean it with a clean slate first to make sure we get all that off. Okay, so I love that. That's exciting. The, um, you know, believe it or not, wouldn't this be kind of fun? That would be great, entirely painted. I would use the one step on this as well. Now, look at this, look at this chest. We're going to have to work with the drawers just a little bit, but because you've got multiple drawers, even though some of them are faux, because look, as far as the line here, 
I would totally do this piece in an ombre effect. Now, if you don't know what ombre is, you're gonna take one color and mix it either with a darker or a lighter and maybe start at a light value. Let's say pink, lilac, and rose. It's so in. Start out with a really dark rose here and go all the way up. By the time you get to this last drawer, it's gonna be a really light rose. So we're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six different values of rose that we could do on this in an ombre effect. So let's look at something else. Wow, look at this. This is a great looking roll top desk. Of course, most of you, if you're like me, it would be very difficult to fix this part to go down here. I would just remove this. Here, I want you to have fun too when you're painting pieces of furniture paint the inside one color and paint the outside another. So I might paint the outside in a light gray and then do a really pretty pale blue on the inside. That way they're complementary. Don't think about doing it all the same color and then maybe even painting the drawers um, a third color. Okay, oh, come here, come over here. Look at this whole section of doors. Now, a lot of times, people don't realize is you can take these doors and use them as elements um, to be able to maybe put on your laundry room. I always look like putting an antique door on a laundry room, painting it in a chalk based paint. That way you can write notes on it, makes it look really vintage. But a lot of these too, um, these doors, we'll put on barn hinges and have them to where they can open and close. Just seeing even this Formica right here, a lot of people don't realize if you have uh, laminate countertops that are Formica and you want them to look like white marble, you can use my Venetian plaster directly on top of Formica as countertops. I just did a kitchen for a new show, uh, Pickler and Ben, that's gonna be coming out next week. And we did these beautiful white Venetian plaster countertops, totally transformed them. Um, but it's a great idea if you're wanting to update your kitchen with white countertops that look like marble. All right, so let's, this is, I want you to go into the ugly lamp section. We talk about ugly lamps. Okay, come on over here. They definitely closed down a school, I think. You're gonna find odds and ends. Jean's still wandering around here. I'm gonna stop and ask someone. Okay, I'm being really brave. I must stop and ask someone that's shopping what it is that they're looking for. And I see this woman over here in an Ole Miss shirt. We're really close to Oxford, Mississippi, so let's go up. Hi. 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 Can I ask you a question? Sure. What are you looking for today? I'm looking for a sofa. And there's this one, and then there's the leather. And I don't really know. I don't like the color of either, to be honest. Which, um, is it a situation where, what's the style that you like better? I like the casual laid back of this better, but it's so dirty. Yeah, as far as two, um, well, I will tell you this. I'm, I'm a designer. Oh, okay. And um, I like this sofa probably over the other one because that's vinyl, and I have a paint that you can put on top of this. So I could paint that. You could paint this, and here's the deal. Let's feel of it. This is a canvas type material. It's cotton. It breathes. Yeah. So if you um, and if if you could, I'm like not wanting to be too loud, but I know I need to be loud enough so y'all can hear me. So this woman, what is your name? Crystal. Crystal has found a great sofa here. It's $135. Actually, I think that's a little much. I want to try yeah. to get this for like $50. But it's canvas material, it's cotton, which is perfect for painting. One of the first things you need to do to this is make sure that you mist it with water first. Then that way, choose your one-step paint color. You can even put it in an airless sprayer. If you put it in an airless sprayer, I want you to thin it about 30%. But if you brush on the fabric after you've misted it with water, thin it about 20% and then just brush it on. Let it dry. Before you put the second coat on, make sure that you lightly sand it with 400 sandpaper. Put on your second coat, let it dry again. It may take a little bit longer because you're painting the fabric. Lightly sand it again and then seal it with clear wax and you'll have a brand new sofa. Oh wow. That's but I think you need to try to make an offer on this because that's too much. Yes. Okay. All right.
Amy, we have a question from Alan. How do you seal a countertop after painting? All right, so the best way to seal a countertop after painting is I do have a matte sealer and a gloss sealer. If you're gonna use the one step on it, I would prefer that you spray it with an airless sprayer. That way you won't have brush strokes uh, from it or stop and start, especially on a large flat surface area like that. I would definitely spray it. I would love for you also to look at, um, we're gonna have a video on how to use Venetian plaster on countertops, which would be great. Um, all right, so Jean's like wandering around here looking at stuff. We're gonna probably bring something home. Um, oh gosh, okay, come here, look over here. This Amwa, it's a two-piece cabinet set. It says it's $150. This is the perfect piece to be able to paint. It's not a, it's not a great piece. It's not real wood. But, you know, as far as being utilitarian, if you're moving in a new home and you want to try to get this for $100 and be able to paint it like in a cream color and maybe do some accents, anytime you've got raised drawers like this, or you've got this barley twist detail on this, allow this to be an opportunity to add a second color or an accent color that would complement what you're painting it. Sharon says, uh, wouldn't it be fun to paint the mannequins like you would the couch? <laughs> Sharon, you have a really good sense of humor. The, um, you know, in some really weird way, uh, those from a sculptural standpoint are just awesome. One. Okay, this is really sad. I think we're having way too much fun, and I'm trying to educate you. But now, look at, as far as, I would not play up this pediment. A lot of times, if you've got pieces that have too much architectural detailing that's too strong like this allow this just to kind of go away and add to the texture of it but I would play up smaller details like trim and don't forget you can use the one step paint on hardware you can paint directly on top of this and it'll kind of go away or I would probably lacquer these you know pieces like this too are great in nurseries that you need um, you need room in to be able to store little baby clothes and things like that. So, all right, let's just look at a few more things. Hold on. No, you know what? I wanted to take you over to the ugly lamp section. So, come on, let's go over there. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. You know. Look, what a great mid-century modern piece. Don't you love this? Now here, how frustrating is this? A lot of times you'll see it and there's a drawer missing and you think the whole thing's been ruined. That's not the case. Now, a lot of times, if you want to, you could come back, you could just put a simple piece of plywood there and cover that up. Or if maybe one of the other drawers are missing, just put a basket there. So don't let that hold you up from getting it. It also looks like there, um, there's glass missing. So a lot of times I would just either take this one out or you can just measure it and have it taken to a hardware store and they'll cut it for you. But you know what? This piece is walnut. How great is that? I might just come back on this piece with wood tonic. I have a product called wood tonic that has hemp oils in it along with other natural um, organic oils that has no VOCs that you can put on top of a beautiful walnut piece like this, especially if it's kind of parched and bleached and will totally bring it back to life. Okay, I know y'all are like, can we get to the lamps? Come on over here. They've got tons of appliances in here. Okay, for those of you just joining me, I am at the Habitat Restore. If you've never been to a Habitat Restore, it's like a Goodwill on steroids, and they're usually really, really big. This store probably has, oh my gosh, they have a new section. Oh my gosh. I didn't even know they had that new section. This is crazy. And I'm just gonna tell you, if you've not gotten into flipping furniture or buying pieces, like a lot of people that buy my paint, they do it for themselves, they do it for their own homes, and even for friends, there's an opportunity that I'm gonna be sharing with you about in a few weeks. 
I want to teach people how you can go in and buy these pieces, paint them, and turn around and sell them on your neighborhood resale sites because there's an opportunity in here for a lot of different decorating things. It's crazy. Like, when we get through, I'm going to have to go back in there and go shopping. This is awesome. Okay. Now, here's lampshades. Look at all these lamps. So see, a lot of times you're going to find them and you think they're brass, but they're not. They're a plastic resin, and a lot of people are like, so what do I do to that? Take the shade off. Don't even look at the shade, because the shape of the lamp base would probably be good and perfect for lacquer. Lacquer is a great opportunity to be able to take all these lamps that I'm sorry to say are not that attractive and make them into a pop of color. Maybe just lacquer them in white perfection lacquer. But the first thing first, you've got to make sure that you clean them with clean slate. Get all the grease and grime off of them. And then come back, you can paint a shade with the one step paint. Just make sure you thin it down about 20 to 30%. So lots of great opportunities here to get a lamp for just $10, $5 and come back and lacquer it and it's gonna look great. So. Let's just walk over here one more time. Then I'll look out there. You know, the other thing is, we talk about coming to Habitat here. A lot of people, if you can't afford a new kitchen, there is an opportunity. You can buy entire kitchens here for about two hundred dollars, so you don't have to worry about going in and. Um, having a cabinet maker make you kitchen cabinets. You can buy a whole kitchen here and retrofit it and then paint it for a fraction of the cost. The other thing that they sell here are cabinet doors in the back. So those of you that are wanting to make a decision on painting your kitchen cabinets, come to Habitat, buy the cabinet door, paint it, and then put it up in your kitchen to be able to make a decision whether or not you like that color. If you don't, go back, get one of my sample pots and repaint it and then look at it. That way you can get your husband or your wife on board to be able to totally um, rescue and restore your kitchen. Alex, was there a question? Yes. Uh, Deb wants to know if she seals hardware with wax after she paints it. Does she have to seal it with wax? Hardware for like kitchen. Cabinets. If you're going to be painting hardware, it is best that you seal it with wax. So anyway, I want to invite all of you to be able to come out to to Habitat. If you have a Habitat in your city, you know they're great at being able to help people have homes, but it's a great opportunity too to be able to rescue some of this furniture that's being thrown away and restore it and redecorate with it. Because remember, we throw away 28 million tons of furniture in this country every year. This is a great opportunity for you to be able to do something great for um, an incredible cause and a great organization that's about helping people have homes and as well have a lot of fun. So until next time guys.